Um, after we had some heavy rain in Port Elizabeth, we went out to pick up some road kills of some, some toads. Um, there's some here. Uh, it's um, Eastern leopard toad. And I want to show how to take DNA of these guys and properly, properly preserve them. So what I have here is the frog. There's also a little Tom Turner there. Um, I've got a label and a DNA bar. Now usually um, we take a liver sample. Um, because you don't want to take any of the diagnostic features. So what I do is I will make a little cut just under the, the arm here. Just to cut the skin. And I will just um, put my um, scissors in, cut a bit up. And you just take the forceps and you will just poke around a little bit until you find the liver. The liver will just pop out like that. Sometimes the hole is a little bit too small, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there's the liver coming out. Now we don't need a whole liver because our valves are quite small. So just take uh, a good enough sample, okay, about that size. Usually what I do is I cut it just a little bit. It's just so the alcohol prop uh, penetrates quite prop uh, properly, so I just put it into the valve. And then I've got these nice little labels. It's my initials and the field number, it's a running number, and I do them in duplicate, and you will see why. I just cut off the one. The one with the string goes onto the specimen, the other one goes on into the vial. So now this uh, DNA vial is uh, associated with that specimen forever. To tie on the label, just go onto the left leg. Just above the knee, and just do a surgeon knot. And just cut the, cut the pieces off. So that's done for the processing. Now we can just poke a little bit back. Okay, cool. So this is the second installment. This is now how to preserve the animals. Um, so I've got a tray with a, just a piece of cloth in the bottom don't want it, um, the specimen on the smooth surface that is sliding around. I've got some 10% formalin. That's one part um, uh, formalin with nine parts of water. So I'm just going to wet this. Okay, cool. So this is a big animal, this uh, toad. So what, what you do is you will uh, uh, suck up some uh, formalin into the syringe. Just inject some into into the body cavity, into the legs and stuff. So just inject a little bit of it, um, so that it preserves it uh, better. You don't need to do too much with toads and frogs. They um, got a, quite a absorbable skin, so it, uh, they will absorb uh, quite easily. So now to preserve it, you have two ways of doing it. You either put it in a sitting position or in a stretch out uh, a position. Now I like the, the sitting position uh, more, so I just put it down like that. Get that piece of cloth off. Then I lay it out almost like at a 90 degree angle. Get the toes out nice, because that will make it easy for anybody that in the future wants to come and uh, examine the specimens. Um, and then the toes and stuff are nicely stretched out. You can do some nice measurements. Okay, so that, that's basically the best that I can do with this roadkill. Now what I will do is I'll leave it in this for, um, this is 10% formula. For frogs you can leave it like um, 24 to 48 hours. You, will, you, you just feel if they stiffen up. Um, and you just leave it like that and then um, uh, I put a piece of cloth over it so that it doesn't um, dry out from the top um, and you just close this up, you leave it for as I say, 24 um, hours or 48 hours then after that you wash it out, uh, often or running water for, for an hour or two um, and then you transfer to 70% or ethanol for permanent storage in the collection.